Hey guys, if you're like me, you love your rooftop tent, but you hate the fact that it's killing your gas mileage and you want to be able to take it off. But not too many of us are tall enough or strong enough to deadlift this thing off by ourselves. So we came up with an ingenious plan uh, that I can't take credit for. We found off of YouTube, but I thought we'd share the knowledge of what we did. So a high level what we did is we built just a wood ladder with some bike rack hooks at the end just to hook onto the bed rack and then reinforce it with cross members a little stop at the end just so the rooftop tent has some place to stop and not just roll off the end you can see there's an eyelet down here and you'll see what that's for in just a second so we're going to attach the hooks of the end of this ladder to the cross member on the rack, the bed rack, and then it'll be at an angle. And then we're going to attach this eyelet to a very simple worn winch. So it's just got a hook on it here. And I've just got a carabiner up here, a heavy duty carabiner into an eye bolt into the uh, frame up here. So this is sturdy and uh, you'll see in just a minute how this all works. This will be the first time we're doing it with the uh, C4 rear bumper on it, so we gotta swing that thing out of the way and hopefully it doesn't cause us any problem. Okay, so now I got the truck lined up to try and get it centered. I'm gonna take, I attach the winch to the eyelet at the bottom of the ladder and then I'm gonna attach the top of the ladder that's got the hooks on it to this post right here. Sorry, this post right here. And then undo the, the uh, tent, try and slide it on. So let's get started. So first things first, we've got to get the tent brackets undone from the, the rack. So my amazing assistant is uh, doing an incredible job. So once we get the brackets undone, then the tent will be kind of just sitting on top of the rack and we'll get the ladder attached and start to move this bad boy off of here. All right, now that all the bed rack clamps and mounts are all off, we can put the ladder up and start to move this tent off. It's that easy. All right, so now we got the ladder. It's got the bike rack hooks up at the top, hooked onto the bed rack cross beam. Then we'll lift this up so that it's parallel, or horizontal actually, sorry. And then we'll slide the tent on top of it. All right, so we just lifted and shifted the rooftop tent. Now onto the ladder. And since it was parallel, pretty easy just to slide it up and over. Just getting the buckles out of the way. And now we'll just lower it down with the winch here. And the tent will rest against this stop. And then we'll be able to transition it onto our storage wheelie cart and just wheel it out of the way. easier that was to, <laughs> to get off of there without having to try to brute force it and be as tall with the lift and the tires and everything. So now we'll just tilt it up and drop it on the cart and we're done. And now again these tents aren't that heavy so we're able to just lift it on top of this wheelie cart and now it's completely portable. We can slide it out of the way, store it for our next trip. In the meantime I get my gas mileage back and don't have to worry about anyone taking my tent either. It's that simple. Now the tent is stored out of the way. Really only took us about, shoot, seven, ten minutes. 
Uh, and we just gotta store the, the ladder, but the ladder doesn't take up a lot of space, and the winch. That's about it. So hopefully this helps you. Hopefully this is, uh, gives you some ideas on how to make it easier to get your rooftop tent on and off of your vehicle. It sure did for me, and I thank the, the guy who posted, and uh, I'll put the photo credit below, or the video credit, the idea credit below in the video link. Thanks, guys. Until next time.